one thing about me i'm not gonna have straight parts this middle part is given zigzag <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my channel well if you're not new and welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Javette and I hope you love it over here but anyway disclaimer though two disclaimers the one that I always give which is excuse if you hear dogs barking I got to get the content done and these dogs don't stop barking <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to try to reduce the background noise as much as possible, but hopefully it's not too much of a bother. And second disclaimer is we have a little visitor here. She came with my monthly visitor and well, I guess she ain't get the memo to leave <laughs> when my monthly visitor left. So just excuse her. Also, let me know if this background is too busy for you. I'm trying to work with natural lighting, so I need to face the light. And right now, this is the best I can do. But if it's too busy for you, I can definitely try to switch it up in future videos. So today, I'm going to be doing a battle of the leave-ins, leave-in conditioner. Who doesn't love leave-in conditioner? <laughs> and I'm going to be reviewing or battling two products from soul tanicals so first we have the frizz Wiz curl define and leave-in and next we have the infamous not source coil detangler well this one is the not so perfect source if you use soul tanicals products you know what i'm talking about so my hair is currently freshly washed and deep conditioned I use this conditioner, this deep conditioner. I have a review of it up on YouTube Shorts. It's also on TikTok. It's also on Instagram. So you can check it out and also follow me on those platforms. If you're not, it's at Javed Paris. So we're going to be rating these products based on their claims. So let's read the claims. For the Frizz Wiz. It says it's a moisturizing leave-in conditioner, detangler, and curl definer designed to smooth the cuticle and enhance thick, curly, textured hair patterns. For the nut source, it says it's a nappylicious reinvention of a natural hair detangler, super friendly, super... what? super naturally emphasized with botanical goodness for excellent comb through spreadability and extra softness this slip inducing lusciously creamy botanical blend detangles nutted and matted hair in a record time the proof is in the sauce okay so my hair is not nutted and matted it might have a little bit of tangles in it but we shall see so we're going to be rating these on the tangling ability, moisture slash softness, and overall feel in my hair. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing my weekly, my weekly twist, just a protective style to last me throughout the week to go to work, etc. And my hair is a little damp, but I just wanna add a little more water to it not too much on this side we're gonna start with the nut sauce coil detangler so okay this smells yummy this smells like vanilla essence or something it smells so good okay it's not Oh, a piece of hair. It's not um that thick. I'm just applying it to this entire section and then I'll split up the sections. 
so I'm gonna show you the consistency wait so it's not super thick it's kind of on the thinner side and very movable Okay, let's go in and some more product on this section. It feels okay. It feels very lightweight. When it comes to to slip, I don't know. It has a little bit, I guess. For, bo for both sides, I'm going to top it off with the Bloom Super Potent Healthy Hair Growth Oil. And I'm going to put some of this in my scalp and then let it run along the length of my hair. They say this oil is super potent and be careful with it. And I can smell the potency if I'm being honest. Yeah, it smells like ginger and other herbs and things. One thing about me, I'm not going to have straight parts unless it's absolutely necessary or I'm in the mood to. But anyway, I finished this half of my hair using the nut sauce and I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it one time because I don't want to go use the other product on the other side of my hair and then forget what I was going to say about this product, thinking about that product. You get me and in the end i'll tell you overall which one i liked better so for this rating it on a scale of what did i say detangling moisture and overall feel so detangling it has some slip but i wouldn't say it has the most slip i've ever experienced to give me like really good detangling so it's okay on the slip moisture my hair definitely feels moisturized it felt very soft with the product in it feels very lightweight for some reason i thought that it would feel heavier but it doesn't um the overall feel in my hair is very good so yeah that's it for this I don't know but i was expecting more when it comes to the detangling part because this is the nut sauce you know the tangle melter the nut melter i don't know but i feel like maybe because this one is the not so perfect sauce which means that during manufacturing it has some defect which makes it this color because it's supposed to be white i think or lighter than this but they did claim that that doesn't change the effect the overall effect of the product on your hair so i don't know but let's move on so i'm gonna go wash my hands because i don't want any residue from the not sauce when using the frizz whiz so i'm gonna be back okay my hands are all clean and just re -wet in this section it has definitely dried out <laughs> mm. 
now for the first ways oh this one is light too you can see how runny it is I guess their leave-in conditioners are like light products this one smells what does it smell like it smells lightly fragrance I can't really describe the fragrance to you though so far what I can say about this one is that it felt a bit heavier than this side when I initially put it on my hair, like the product itself. This middle part is given zigzag. But thoughts on the frizz whiz. For the tangling, I would say if you put enough product on your hair, you'll get some good slip to the tangle. But again, not the best slip I've experienced. But I have to say this the slip was better than on this side from the nut sauce if you put enough. For moisture, the moisture is good. When you put it on your hair, it feels more coated and you can probably see like the white residue here, but it will absorb after a while. But my hair definitely feels moisturized and soft with this in. So overall here I feel it feels really good. So oh another thing I wanted to mention is that for both of these I realized that you don't need your hair doesn't need to be too too wet so for the back sections for both sides i wet my hair to like more than damp but that wasn't totally necessary because for the front i applied it on drier hair as you would see in the clips before my hair was drier and it felt better so i feel like, like if your hair is a bit too wet it would like decrease the potency of the product that's just my theory and well as a result the effectiveness so your hair doesn't need to be too wet damp is fine so who won the battle can you guess like which one i'm gonna say based on my final thoughts on both of these i'll give you like a five seconds to comment down below which one you think is the winner Frizz Wiz will have to be the winner for me simply because my hair feels more moisturized, a bit more moisturized than on this side with nut sauce and because it has a bit more slip and detangling abilities than the nut sauce. But I would say both of them are good. It just depends on your hair needs at the time and also your preferences, what you're looking for. I would use both but I think I would quicker reach for the frizz whiz and I would give the nut sauce another try but technically this is the nut so what is it not so perfect sauce so I would probably order that this again in the non-defective product the actual nut sauce so yeah that's it for my little review that's it for my little review my little battle of the leave-ins video i hope you enjoyed i hope you got value from this 
and maybe you feel inclined to try some sultanicals product now if you have already tried these let me know your thoughts below i'd probably come back and give an update at the end of the week either in the comments or i'll post it on the community tab like share with a friend or another natural subscribe and see you next time Ooh, la, la.